Pauline Oliveris is setting up her equipment to produce a random music experiment. Will music performed by an electronic machine be part of an evening's entertainment in the future? Only time will tell. I wasn't thinking of myself as being a professional classical musician. I was really at heart a maverick. <laughs> take a, an unfamiliar path, you're going to find that people are bewildered by it or wonder why you aren't doing what you did <laughs> or why aren't you doing what other people do. But one of my principles, which is very important to me, is I have never tried to build a career. I've only tried to build a community. We were surrounded by like-minded artists who had this desire to find a whole new meaning of art, art that was part of life. It's part of her personality that she had to defend in terms of not only being a woman composer, which was really tough in a world of men, but being a gay woman composer and realizing it was okay. Pauline has always been on the forefront of technology more than any of my colleagues. She did a piece that purportedly was sending sound to the moon and having it reflect back. Given your practice of listening, what have you learned about the world? I learned that it's not listening very well. People are always listening, but what they're listening to, what they're giving attention to, is the important thing. And I think we could have a lot less stress and violence listening to what others are thinking and sounding. I mean, acceptance, respect, all of these things come from listening. <laughs>